if I was building this horde base in the middle of nowhere, where all pillars in around, of course this wouldn't be necessary or anything, but uh, this doesn't work. Uh, oh boy, I just fell inside the closed up area. Cool. Thank you. Yep, it's looking tremendous. Look at that. Yes. So, what am I missing? This this corner is a little bit janky, but that's fine. I guess I got 50, 10, 15. 5, 10, 15. I could have gotten 7, 12, 17. To get 16 would have been tricky. Because the, the 3 wide is only 3 high. So I kind of want to go only 4 high. Okay, let's cover that up with blocks. Or... No, let's leave it that way. I'm going to go from above and fill that up. Looks cool. Yeah, I think I like it. There you go. So I got this going. Here, I think I'm just gonna close it up. Must be a corner like that one. Yeah, so let's copy the shape, put it as it was. Uh, the ladder is broken. So definitely not gonna use it. So let's just it up. Okay, at least it was as it was. Plug it up. There we go. These blocks, I guess, they can stay. And I can just close this off and uh, never think of it again. There you go. This is all concrete. And let's just add another block here. So here I got two walls, and uh, that's better than it was. Okay, hopefully this will be the only way in. So now I gotta work this out. And uh, what I was thinking was doing a way up through here somewhere. Close, so maybe through this wall. Let's just go up here. There you go. And this one is pretty wrecked up. So did they manage to climb here? I guess just a simple thing is just close these parts. Right? There you go. Because they can climb on each other, of course. Let's put the same block there. Concrete, so that's why nobody fits. He managed to reach it when when he had the ladder, so the ladder is still there, but it's that's the spot where it's broken. So I guess I can just remove the ladder, and I don't have to upgrade these blocks yet. That's fine. And I can be able to reach. So this is all concrete, the floor, and I gotta check outside because. They can might might be able to come from there, from that roof. But this is like an escape route for me. 
That was a good one. Oh, we got in. Oh, she oh, shit. Climb the ladder. Uh, she actually got up here. Where did she come up from? I guess through this one. Let's remove it. Because these shafts, it's quite easy to fall from. I don't want to use it. I prefer to have a ladder right there in the middle where I'm going to be standing. Instead of this one here. I guess this is the one that, that she used. She actually climbed through here and she was climbing down from, the, from this one. Because they can't jump these two blocks to reach it. There we go. Okay, so now let's just cover this up like so. And here, let's remove some more stuff. Oh boy, I can't stand there. I just fell through the gate. I can attach blocks. Where did I fall? That's interesting. So we can stand on that thing, but from below, I can't. Uh, climb through it so i guess i'm gonna need a block here let's start putting in the four by ones like so because i don't think they can stand on this inclination here This is really close from this wall. But okay. Uh, I'm gonna go with this idea. Let's put this 4 by ones To make them slide. There we go. And I think all the way here is good enough. And I think these ones can be just cobble because they, they're not gonna get the chance to hit them too much. Uh, oh, okay. Let's put them on. It's much better. If they destroy the, the gates, they might be able to hit, hit these blocks here. There you go, and I guess here I can just have these these uh, blocks, full ones, because from this side I can't really jump up here, so... I think I'm gonna save myself some concrete by just having these full blocks on these sides, and I think it should be good enough. Now, I can just add another one, but then I'm not gonna be able to see them. Uh, if I happen to come here, it would be nice to be able to see them. But on those sides, I think it's a good idea to have this inclination. So let's just add the second one. Copy rotation. And there you go. Go like this. Everyone will slide down. And in fact, I only need to go up here because now I don't have a wall from the, where they can jump. And I guess I'm just going to leave it this way. What I have to keep going up. 
is this side because if they jump this way hopefully they'll just slide down and now I'm just gonna use cobble I think this is a like a two block gap yeah even if they come from there hopefully they'll fall in the gap very close i think uh, they're gonna gang up on each other and actually manage to stand there and destroy these blocks but uh, let's go with this idea hopefully it'll help There you go. Now let's go for the third one. And I guess, yeah, you can still stand on them. That's good. If I was building this horde base in the middle of nowhere, where I'll build it around, of course this wouldn't be necessary or anything, but uh, this doesn't work. Uh, oh boy, I just fell inside a closed up area. I guess I'm just gonna do a horde base outside, uh, or just find another place to defend, as I've been doing this so far. Okay, take it out, there we go. I guess I can just plug it in. There we go. There it is. Cool. Yeah, let's just bring the full one. just keep the wall going up as I had it here make like a big old pyramid because in fact if I just add four more blocks it's gonna be nice Gonna be the right heights to actually not concern myself with this building anymore. If I just bring it all the way here, yeah. And I think what I'm gonna do is just leave it as wood. There you go, yeah. I think that's nice. And uh, I don't think this little ledge is gonna make the difference. Uh, it might, so. Yep, let's just continue the thing all the way here. Let's just avoid this part first.
yeah, wood is a little too weak. Let's just keep it as cobble. You know, let's just pull it up. Remove this one. I think I have one of them screamers. There she is. Nice. Okay. There we go. Nice. That's a wall. If I've seen one. Let's see how it looks. I have to bring more cobble. Well, yeah, that's the idea. Nothing will go from this side, hopefully. They're all slide down. Yep. Okay, good enough. Not even sure if I'm gonna upgrade these blocks here. I don't know if it's necessary, to be honest. Uh, let's just leave it that way. Let's work inside. Because the round is already pretty good. I guess just this one's to go through concrete. That's fine. You know, I'm gonna have to work something out of here. I think I'm gonna have to remove a bunch of these blocks and figure a cool idea. So let's see. I got one, two, three, four, five to work with. So there's not much sense to put in like two blade traps on each other. I would definitely prefer to have them on the horizontal. One thing that I could do is leave two corridors, one here and one here, and a blade trap in the middle so that it hits both of them. Because as Horde Knights become stronger, there's gonna be a lot of zombies and having just one tunnel, it's a bit much, they're gonna wreck the whole thing to get through. So having two pathways I think might help to not make the zombies, zombies just destroy everything around them. So I might do that, so that I can put a blade trap in this position. But I guess it's gonna have to be... I mean, this is on the second block. What if I... Wait, is it the same? I think it's the same height, the blade. If I put it this way or that way. I think it's the same. So I might just attach it to the block above, so that it doesn't fall. Because they're gonna destroy this one first, I believe. And... I guess I can just put one here and one in the floor. In the floor. Because I do have three white here. So why not? Let's do that. I'm gonna put one here and one that way. And the lines for the dot traps are gonna be one line here and one line here. And I guess the blade traps themselves is the thing that's gonna stop the zombies in place to get hit by this. But I would have to trigger them. And I'm kind of afraid of stop to putting poles here. Because if I put poles, they're gonna see the whole base is covered up. They're gonna see the pole as a wall. So I'm not sure if I want to put something here. What I might put is barbed wire. Because they don't see the barbed wire, hopefully. And it stops them in place to get shot. Because if these things keep shooting, they're gonna use up all the ammo pretty damn quick. So I usually use trip wires with electric fences. That's something that I could use too. Not only that, the fences stop them in place to get shot. It also does a lot of damage, so I guess I'm gonna try to use fences too.